Good morning and welcome back to another video. We are going fishing once again. It is a little bit of a windy morning, kind of mild still here in Albuquerque. As you can see, I am very loaded up, getting ready to go. Um, we are headed north again, hopefully for, hopefully a catch and cook. We'll see what happens. Um, last time I tried to do a catch and cook, we only caught four fish and they were pretty small, so I didn't actually get to make the video, but we'll see how today goes. And um, yeah, we've got to make a quick stop at Cabela's. Um, we're going to be fishing probably some more nymphs today, which for me personally is kind of a bummer, but it has gotten cold enough that uh, the fish are probably going to be down low. So make a quick Cabela's stop. We're going to pick up probably some, either some big flies to use as hoppers. I'll show you guys a good hopper dropper rig I love to use up there. Um, either those or some indicator material, which is basically like super floaty fuzz that almost works as a bobber in a way, um, but like for fly fishing. And uh, you know, it's a good way to catch big fish. So quick stop at Cabela's, be there in a sec. so windy today I'm hoping that up there in the canyon like where the river is I'm hoping it's not too windy up there it's gonna make it really hard to fly cast if so but but man out here it looks like the dust bowl all right guys we made it we are here at the river it is now time to go ahead and tie on that new leader we just got I have a terrible habit of using my teeth probably way too much okay there we go. All tied up. All right, guys, it is about time. I have like, feels like 60 pounds of cooking stuff in my backpack. So hopefully we actually catch a fish to make all this, all this catch and cook stuff worth it. Uh, step one, of course, is to get a little bit of floatant on our friendly little caddis. This here's a setup. So we have got a little uh, yellow and brown caddis, and then about a foot and a half of line down to a little tungsten prince nymph here. Kind of looks like that. Caddis here, tungsten down here. I don't know if they're gonna be hitting dries today, but I figured we might as well give it a shot. So the caddis is a pretty legit fly for up here. That's not, it's not only, you know, for the purpose of being an indicator for the nymph, although that is one of its main purposes for today. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head on up the river. I wanna hike a little ways, get past the campground, I think, and um, I will see you guys when we are at the river. We are looking at the first hole here, pretty little plunge pool. As you can see, there's a lot of ice, so that might make it a little tough on us, but we're gonna see what kind of magic we can do here. Get our camera set up. much for us.
They are being very picky today, guys. Very picky. We're gonna move up and see if we can't make some magic happen. Oh yeah, guys, there we go. Nice rainbow trout. Let's see if I can get this guy up on the shore. Boat flip. And there it is. Nice little rainbow. It's beautiful. There you go. There we go, guys. Beautiful. That's, I don't know, maybe a foot, maybe? Not. I don't know if it's that big, but pretty nice. Oof, and now my fingers are absolutely freezing. All right, guys, here we go. Of course we're stuck on something here. What are we stuck on? Oh, got it free, okay. Here we go. All right, guys, so here's the scoop. We um, we didn't get to do our catch and cook, unfortunately. It ended up being mostly because it got um, it got so cold by the time I actually caught something. Remember on that last one, that big one, that was like the 12 or 13-inch rainbow trout. That was the one that I was thinking about you know, using for the video for the catch and cook. But um, by the time I caught it, it was so cold. By the time the, you know, the sun had gone down, the wind had kicked up, that my fingers were actually completely numb. And I just figured it would not be a very good video. And not to mention, I had about 23 minutes until the state park closed for the day. So I had to kind of hightail out of there. So unfortunately, um, a little bit slower of a video. I'm sorry. I only got a couple fish on the camera. But um, by the next time we do a video, I will actually have the GoPro. Today is Saturday. It comes in tomorrow, which is Sunday. So next week we'll be doing a video. We'll have the GoPro. We'll have much more high quality footage. I promise. I promise. We'll actually do a catch and cook that time and, uh, you know, get to show you guys a really cool uh, recipe. I'll, should I tell you what it is? I guess, I guess I'll tell you what it is. It's, um, it's like a street, street taco, I guess. It's like a fresh trout street taco that is sort of a variation of a couple recipes I've seen, but I'm really excited to do that for you guys. I'm really excited to try it for myself, truthfully. So um, that'll be next week um, for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching once again, and, and again, sorry we couldn't get more on camera. We're going to get better. Next week is going to be one of our best ones yet. I know it. And um, yeah, hope you guys stick around. We are only going up. So until then, Eli out.